So in the winter, it's the Magdal Signature Indian Derby. In the summer, it's the Bangalore Derby sponsored by Kingfisher. And in the monsoon, the biggest race that our three-year-olds look at is the Nanoli Stud Pune Derby. Now this is a race that the Nanoli Stud has been associated with for many, many years. Let's take a look at how this all began. one were to point out an event in Pune that truly represents all the glitz, energy, thrills and excitement that is the business of racing, the Nanoli Stad Pune Derby would be it. Away from the hustle and bustle of Mumbai, set amidst the charming Pune race course, the weekend sees the highest turnout in the Pune racing calendar, with racing and non-racing patrons alike in equal attendance. It's by far our biggest event, 18 years running with Nanoli. Uh, the introduction of the October Fest for the last five years has brought an added dimension. That is actually what a race day should be all about. Fun, drinks, good crowd, good attendance. So the derby gets upscaled. I think it's a win-win for the club. A big race with a big lifestyle event and that's what we endeavour to do on all our big days. Initiated in 1984 as the Splendor Deluxe Pune Derby on October 7th, the race's first winner was Prudential Champ, trained by Uttam Singh and ridden by Aslam Kado. Sunday, 13th October 1996, saw the dawn of the Nanoli Stad Pune Derby. That first edition was special for Kushru Danji Boy for many reasons. Not only was he the sponsor of the race, but he also led in the winner that year when indictment owned by him along with Major P.K. Mehra and Amita Mehra stamped his name on the honour roll. Being tracked by the grey African grey up on the outside, then there's Northern Prestige, Arabian Rose Jaguar, Natasha dances out of it. At the top of the home stretch, leaving excitement who comes in home first. From indictment, putting in a nice run in the centre. African Grey coming up on the outside, then there's Kapiria. It's leaving excitement from indictment, African Grey. It's indictment from African Grey, Jaguar flying on the outside. Indictment from leaving excitement and Jaguar. Indictment from Jaguar. Indictment and Jaguar. Since that day, the race has grown in stature with each passing year and is now the most important race run in Pune in the three-year-old pattern. And with a man like Kushru Danji Boy at the helm of things, that comes as no surprise. For him, horses are a passion that surpasses all others. And this passion extends to both racing and breeding. And the Nanoli Stad Farm stands as a firm testament to this fact. The farm is home to no less than four top stallions from around the world and has produced winners across racing centres in India with commendable consistency. Apart from breeding some of the finest racehorses on the Indian racetracks today, Kushru Danji Boy also loves racing them under his own colours. Group 1 Indian 1000 Guineas winner Dangerous Liaison and Leigh, who won the Group 1 Poonawala Breeders Million, were amongst the high-class horses owned by him. Along with Indictment, the son of Razin, who went on to win the Indian Triple Crown, namely the Group 1 Indian 2000 Guineas, the Group 1 Indian Derby and the Group 1 Indian St. Ledger. He also co-owned Wonder Philly Jacqueline, whose accomplishments have made every other's pale in comparison. With a record that reads like it does, it is no surprise that the Nanoli Stad Pune Derby holds its reputation as Pune's most prestigious event. Well, I think it is the premier event and uh, we will try and, try and bring in some new stuff every year. We are a new band here this time, maybe we'll extend that to two days instead of one day and well, lots of fun, that's it. The only thing I feel that uh, the member participation is a bit less. We should encourage that and get them, get more, mem more of our members to come to our race, which I shall try and do next year. This year's edition was held on 11th and 12th October and boy, did it deliver all that it promised. Besides all the thrilling racing action, the signature Oktoberfest organised by the Indo-German Chamber of Commerce gave the weekend an added air of gaiety. <laughs> On the cards were eight races on both days. The Dhanji Boy family sponsored two of those, run back to back. 
the no shade and dolly dhanji boy sprint million and the biggest race of the weekend the nanoli stud farm pune derby the no shade and dolly dhanji boy sprint million is a race open to thoroughbreds 4 years and older run over 1200 meters five runners lined up at the starting gates for this one the contest however was between two dancing prances and dancing phoenix Altaf Hussain's Dancing Francis enjoyed the maximum share of support from the markets and not surprisingly so considering he had won both his previous starts the Pune Bookmakers Association Turf Club Trophy and the Akka Saheb Maharaj Trophy over 1200 meters both in Pune with A Sandesh in the saddle once again he looked ready to take this one home as well the Dallas Toriwala trained Dancing Phoenix was another promising contender here He had run second to Dancing Francis in the Akka Saheb Maharaj Trophy over 1200 meters and would be looking at reversing the form this time out with Neeraj Rawal in the saddle. Well with the horses on their way to the start for the sprint championship we'll take a break here on the winning post come back with the race much more including the derby don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the Winning Post. I'm Mohit Lalwani, taking you through the biggest weekend of horse racing during the monsoon season that happens in Pune. It is the Nanoli Stud Pune Derby, and the race that we are about to watch is the first of the two sponsored races by Kushru Dhanji Boy. It is the Noshir and Dolly Dhanji Boy Sprint Championship over 1,200 meters. <laughs> Under orders, and off they go for the Norshin Dolly Dhanji Boy Sprint Million. Off to even dispatch from the gate, and it's Dancing Phoenix on the inside, taking it up there from Rosy Sunshine. Dancing Francis is up on the outside. Then there's Victorious March and Deja Vu in that order as they come towards the 1,000 meters. They're going at a decent pace now as they pass the 800 meters. Dancing Phoenix is the leader from Dancing Francis. Another two lengths away is Rosy Sunshine. Then comes uh, Deja Vu. another length and a half behind deja vu actually in the last place and second last victorious march as they go past the 600 dancing phoenix still calling the shots ahead by about 1 and 3 quarter lengths from dancing prances then there is on the inside victorious march a neck up on the outside is rosy sunshine and about two lengths away there is deja vu as the head stand in for home they have a little over 300 to go and dancing phoenix still ahead by about 1 and a quarter lengths from dancing prances gathering momentum on the outside victorious march is on the inside rail deja vu gaining ground and dozy sunshine into the last 200 meters there and it is dancing prances in the center gets the measure of dancing phoenix deja vu shooting up on the outside is going to be two legs it dancing prances the winner of this race from dancing phoenix then this deja vu Altaf Hussain saddled Dancing Francis continued his domination as he sailed to victory ahead of Dancing Phoenix second clocking a time of 1 minute 9.02 with A Sandesh partnering him The Noshir and Dolly Dhanji Boy Million was the perfect precursor to the Nanoli Derby and with the stage set for the big one the contenders made their way to the paddock well and dancing all the way home let's not waste any time time for our big one the horses are in the parade ring for the nanoli start pune derby let's head straight over and find out who will be crowned the three year old champion of western india this group one race so 11 three year olds in the field ready to battle it out over the 2000 meter trip Maisha from Pacey Shroff Stable was the overwhelming favorite here after her win in the Phillies Championship Stakes in Bangalore. Trevor Patel was in the saddle looking at securing a win even though she was stepping up in trip. The Malaysian Redu Chain Kasar was expected to give the filly some stiff competition after his two back-to-back -back wins in the Juvenile Colts Championship in Mumbai and the General Rajendra Singh Ji Trophy in Pune. Suraj Naredu was in the saddle looking at securing his second derby this year. 
Adil Darji's runner Shivalik Storm had run second in the Zephyr Bay Plate over 2,000 meters and would be looking at going one better this time out with Darren Williams on board. Janardhan Zachary was another one to watch out for. After his win in the SA Poonawala Multi Million, and it would be interesting to see how he would fare with the step up in trip. Well, not too long now before our race gets off. We'll take a short break here on the winning post, come back with the race presentation and a very special tribute to a dear, dear friend. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the winning post. We are watching the Nano Lee Stud Pune Derby. Let's head straight over to the action. The horses are being loaded. Go for the Nano Lee Stud Pune Derby. What a fair start this is by all the runners. And as the field settles down to race, there's a rush for the early lead with the, the mid uh, war command on the outside as they pass the 1800 meter marker war command now being overtaken by quizzical quizzical is the leader from war command settle back in second the winner of the Mysore 2000 guineas three behind is kuwasa in third as they pass the 1600 meter marker being overtaken by royal passion very close behind is uh, uh, Zachary on the outside, uh, bred by King Dakar, winner of uh, two of two this season as the past the 1400 meter marker, including the Esse Punawala million. Very close behind is the Mitch Sporting, the green cap is the Mysore 1000 guineas winner, being tracked on the outside there by Shivalik Storm, the breeder, uh, puts winner of the Punawala Breeders Multi Million is a past the 1200 meter marker, two and a half length behind Grenadine, unbeaten in the last two start. Tatiana is on the inside with a thousand to go in this Nano Lee Start Pune Derby. Two behind at the back of the field there in the dark blue and white is Maisha, the winner of the Deccan Bookmakers the Juvenile Million in Hyderabad and uh, the Phillies Championship in Bangalore. With half a mile remaining in the Nanali Stad Bune Derby, they're running down towards the entrance of the home trade. War Command 2 in front of uh, Kuasa quickly in second spot. On the outside there is a Royal Passion in third. Zachary making a quick forward move. Out of that there is Flashing Chieftain. The myth is on the inside. Then there's the Shivalik Storm. Maisha taking shot as Bay on the inside. Tatiana. Out of that there is the Grenadine Quizzical as the head turn for home. Round the turn and into the straight. It's a Kuasa in the centre, gone away. It's about two and a half, three lengths ahead of Royal Passion. In third, there is a Walkerman. Maisha making a forward move, so is Tatiana. But just look at Kuasa in the last 100 metres. Look like he's wrapped up this race. The Nanoli Stadpune dabbing the safekeeping of jockey Suraj Naredu. Maisha is only second ahead of Tatiana Shivalik Storm. Out of that, there's Zachary. Kassar showed his brilliance on the field as he ran up with the pace and settled nicely soon after taking a jump. He sped ahead at the home turn to steal a march on the rest, crossing the finish line with a length and three quarters over Maisha in second, while Shivalik Storm rounded it off in third. And Zachary was fifth. Presentation honours were done in style on the track, opposite the grandstands, amidst much cheering. Well, and it's all Kwasar for Jaydev Modi. Tremendous performance and Malaysia Naredu's first derby here in Western India. Good luck and best wishes to him and all the connections. Let's head over to the presentation. This is a moment that people dream of and only few dare to ever win it. German band Dieson Dala paid a musical tribute to the winner, adding to the festivities. Trainer Malish Naredu was expectedly overjoyed at this win, considering it was the first Pune Derby win for him and second Derby win this year after he led in B-Safe at the Bangalore Derby in July. I am very delighted, delightful about 
uh, winning the Pune Derby as a trainer, first time as a trainer on Corsa. I had won this race as a jockey for the six, seven times, I'm sorry, seven times. And I must thank all my staff. They have done a wonderful job. I, I like to thank my owners, Mr. Jayde Modi, Mr. Patankar, and Mr. Tanmay Agashe too. They have bought me on such a good horse. And uh, I was very confident, uh, Suraj riding him, because he knows the best, he's the best in the field. And he rode a pitch of a race. And he was in a good position sitting on the fourth. I was thinking it myself riding him. So he rode a superb race. Thanks to all. Suraj Naredu, who rode Be Safe to Victory, was ecstatic as he played his part to perfection to secure the second derby triumph. I was quite confident. After I won on him on his last start, he had a setback and then we had to do a trial on him. And uh, I was quite pleased with uh, the trial, what he did. Not many people know I'm a heavier jockey than Zerwan and obviously I must, I'm assume, I, assuming I must have carried about 5 to 6 kilos more than him. And uh, with an unfit horse doing that kind of a mock race, I was quite happy and he had two bits of work to do still. So I knew he'll come on. Who, uh, going into the race, when I was quite confident that you know whoever has to win has to beat me. Pl panned out exactly the way we wanted it to be. Uh, we wanted a fast run race and uh, our pacemaker was I did a good job. The track was fast, which helped a lot. And uh, I was finding my splits wherever I could. And you know, luckily he's a good horse, he'll find his gap anyways. The race had additional thrills for the patrons with the generosity of the sponsors, the Nanoli Stud Farm. And one lucky punter, Mr. A.K. Gupta from Mumbai, Back the grand prize of the Volkswagen Vento car for nominating correctly the first three past the post. A young Puneite Mr. Vijay Palaskar missed the Vento narrowly but smiled as he got the Honda Activa as a second prize. As always, the Nanoli Stud Pune Derby delivered on the thrills and the excitement. But the celebrations did not end there as everyone headed off to the Oktoberfest to let their hair down and party well into the night, German style. So, well, a tremendous performance there from Kassar. He's surely going to be one of the early anti-post horses in the betting for the Indian Derby as we now look forward to the Indian Classics, which will be starting over in Bombay come December. One person who will unfortunately be missing is a man who made his mark first as a jockey, then as a trainer, and distinguished himself as one of the finest who graced the turf in Indian horse racing. Jaggi Dhariwal, a man I knew as a friend, as a professional and, well, as a great, great human being sadly passed away. This tribute is dedicated to this man who gave so much to the world of horse racing. A man who won 50 classics, who led in over 2,000 winners. But more importantly, a man who was loved by all in the racing fraternity. A prolific trainer, a friend, a guide, a mentor and a thorough gentleman. Even all of these words do not sum up the persona of Jagjit Singh Dhariwal. Jaggi, as he was fondly known in racing circles, passed away on October 7th after a prolonged battle with his ailing health at the age of 70. But even during this time, in what is a true reflection of his love for the sport of horse racing, Jaggi led in a classic winner as recently as January 2014 when Agostini took home the Bangalore Winter Derby. In a career spanning decades, success chased Jaggi everywhere, first as a jockey and then as a trainer. As a trainer, his most prolific runners were Chaitanya Chakram, Chaitanya Ratam, Storm Again, Arabian Prince and Siachen, all of them true champions of the turf. With his passing, the Indian racing fraternity has not only lost one of the stalwarts of the industry, but also one of the kindest souls around. Jaggi is a household name known principally for being trainer to Dr. Vijay Malia. A very nice man. I've not known him personally too much, but whenever I've met him, very affectionate, very simple. In fact, very recently we honored him in Bombay uh, towards the end of the season when he was there. In fact, I gave him that memento. We've lost a very, very thorough gentleman above everything else. Jaggi Dhariwal was not only a good trainer, but he was a top-class human being. I don't think there was anyone more liked 
I'm not just saying that because he has passed away today, but genuinely a top-class human being, a top-class trainer. He achieved it all. R.I.P. Jaggi was a dear friend. Uh, he trained a horse for us in 1980, a long, long time ago. And what a wonderful person. More than a trainer, he was a friend. He was what a lovely nature, wonderful, wonderful person. May he go straight to heaven. I know he is in heaven. Rest in peace, Jaggi. We all miss you. We love you. Well, the first time I met Jaggi was when I was an assistant trainer in 1989 in Bangalore. That was the first time I really interacted with him when he used to come to Bangalore for the summer season. After that, on and off, there was a bit of interaction, nothing more at that point of time, till he came over to Western India and he took over Mr. Dr. Malia's string. Out of that, a lot of my horses which went to him because he needed to start off as a private trainer. And at that time, there was a lot of interaction. We were very close at that point of time. Whenever he was not there, I used to saddle his horses for him. And it's at that point of time that I got to know really how good Jaggi was, not only as a trainer, but as a human being too. Very nice man and really sad that he's not here anymore. Jaggi Dhariwal was a, a gentleman trainer and uh, he produced winners like anything. And uh, there one incident I would like to say, you know, because most of the time, you know, when we saw him, he was like half asleep. So we used to say, you know, oh, sir, you know, and still you are beating us, you are winning and we are losing. So he used to say, if I am awake, you imagine what I will do to you all. <laughs> and God rest his soul in peace. Well, Jaggi Buffalo passed away. He's the, I've known him for several, several years. He was quite a character in, in himself. Uh, very reassuring, very confident in his racing and uh, had a great sense of humor. So he will solely be missed by the whole fraternity and the racing community. Jaggi Dariwal was a gentleman to the core, a soft-spoken person, never had a harsh word for anyone. I've known him for long enough, very approachable and very intelligent where uh, any question on horses were concerned, he had the answers right off the cuff. In uh, his passing away, the racing fraternity has lost a thorough gentleman, a complete horseman and a friend to those who needed one. Rest in peace, Jackie Dhariwal. The Indian turf will miss you sorely. And our thoughts are with his family. Thank you for joining us on this episode of The Winning Post. As always, goodbye, good luck. May the horse be with you. We know the horse is with Jaggi. Take care.